Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today I'm going to take you on a grocery haul. What is it that I spend for my family of six, mainly consisting of teenagers, in lockdown in New Zealand? So you're not going to want to miss this. I'm going to be totally honest on what I've spent. You can see it at the register. And then also I'm going to go get some fuel, petrol, afterwards so you can see how much it costs for that. These are two relatively expensive things in this country, so you're not going to want to miss it. Subscribe below. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a great all-in-one platform to get your business online quickly. Okay, so it is bright and early on a Monday morning. It's 7.15 and I've decided to go early on Monday because the last two times I've gone, because we are in level four lockdown in New Zealand, if you're not aware, uh, the Delta variant has come and we are locking down to just kind of hopefully snuff it out. We've been in lockdown. It'll be seven days total uh, Tuesday and today's Monday. We'll find out today actually if it gets extended, so we'll see, but that is how New Zealand handles the coronavirus. And so last couple times I've been to the food store, um, no milk, no bread, uh, well, very little milk, uh, you know, there's no flour, there's no meat, just because they just needed to adjust to the new lockdown and it's fine. So I'm sure that they will have everything this time, but I've just kind of been making my own bread and doing, you know, just kind of, you know, just surviving. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> so, but today I'm going to go and do kind of a big grocery, if they have it, uh, stuff and I just thought that probably restocking on Sunday night and that they'll probably have most everything if I go Monday morning and there won't be a lot of people and I'll just do it before work and I woke up and early just on my own just thought let's do this so we're going today it's going to be great you're going to see exactly what I buy uh, and how much it is and keep in mind that my daughter is home from uni so we have full I would say full five eating adults <laughs> and a child who's 10 who you know definitely it's his fair share as well but not too bad so so keep that in mind when I'm buying I'm just going to be honest there's a lot that I need to kind of catch up on on this so I have to get a lot of like some extra stuff uh, so I'm expecting it to be quite expensive to be honest um, but we'll see what it is and we're not nobody can eat out so level four lockdown is like you can't even get takeaways or anything so like this is we are all eating three meals a day this is what we're having and then plus it's like you're locked down here so you want to have some nice things if you can um and then you know a lot of times i'll try to make cheaper meals just so that it's not so expensive but i have no meat like i just need to catch up on everything so let's go <laughs> guys in other countries that have to wear these masks all the time. <laughs> Woo! That's a hot baby. It's a hot one. Anyway, so whew, that was a bit expensive. So just so you guys know, like in general, I shoot for about $225, $250 a week for my family, which now is five people because my daughter's in school and we, that accounts for like one takeaway a week as well. Um, yeah, so that, you know, and I can, like some weeks when I feel like I just want to be more on a budget, I can do that where I just make, you know, really cheap soups or, um, yeah, there's certain like go-to meals that I have that are much cheaper. And so that makes it a lot easier. Um, if you want to like kind of cut a little bit, especially when you're trying to feed a family or like, you know, you don't have a lot of meat. I got a lot of meat on this grocery haul because we are out. <laughs> we have the last two shops I've been, there's been no bread, no meat, very very little milk but i was able to get some milk so i didn't have to get too much um yeah flour was out you know so since we've been locked down just been a couple of days um we've been making our own bread uh so i've used a lot of flour so that's why i got a big 5 kg of flour um 
yeah so it's just kind of like a restock and so it tends to be a little bit more so 370 was a lot for us um, but also everybody is at home all the time and they eat all the time and so since i have so many teenagers it's really like having basically five full adults in the house and then you know my 10 year old so he doesn't eat too much but um, and you know, I didn't get too many snacks. Uh, there's been some baking happening in my house, which is also why I'm out of flour. Um, you know, I got two packets of cookies and, um, you know, a bar of chocolate, like not crazy. I mean, that's, this is all I'm probably going to get for a full week. Like I got a lot of dinners. Um, and so just so you know, like on a typical month, I will get hello fresh. I don't know if you're familiar with that once a month. Um, so three meals once a month. I do that because we used to do it a lot more. Um, and sometimes when we're in like heavy sports season, we'll do that a lot more. But like, yeah, I don't do that as much because you kind of get sick of it after a while. But honestly, like most of the meals I get are very good and like nobody complains about it and everybody will eat it. And the reason why I do that is because it comes with like very specific directions and pictures and everything's included in a bag. Like it's like cooking for dummies. And so... <laughs> my kids can do it so it's a really good so it's kind of a two for one like it's i don't have to pay for a cooking class for my kids but they're also like able to cook without me having to be mom how do i do this where's this where's this so then that's not helpful and not like relaxing for me to have a night off right so so we do hello fresh normally as well and that's about 120 a month extra but like like i said it's like a cooking class because you know they need to be able to leave the house and know how to make things and cut things and and do things so that's what we do um so this particular grocery haul made let's see what let me think about like what meals i'm having so we're having spaghetti with uh, like a meat sauce spaghetti we're gonna have nachos we're gonna have uh butter chicken with I don't make the homemade flat bread I have like the whole wheat flour at home uh we're gonna have there's like a chicken and waffles option there's a pancake option there's uh I also got beef stew ingredients um so yeah like I'm already going on like seven meals <laughs> so this is a lot so this is like at least two weeks you know what would normally be two weeks probably of of dinners because I still have a Hello Fresh at home and I feel like there's more that I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. Oh, and then there's, um, yeah, like there's enough for like BLTs or like uh, sandwiches. Some, some days we'll just have like tuna sandwiches. Uh, so yeah, there's plenty and there's plenty of potatoes. So sometimes like after we make Mexican, here's a little hot tip for you big families out there is if you make Mexican, you know how you have like some meat left over and tons of like cut up vegetables, but vegetables, but like random, right? So, um, yeah, so baked potatoes. So that's a cheap meal. So if you just have a potato, you know, you put six of them in the oven and then you just have all the toppings and it's like amazing. And it's like a full, it's like another meal. Um, and it's cheap. And so, yeah, so I ended up having to get, you know, I, they had a limit of three breads. And so I got th all three because we have been completely out. Um, and we, yeah, so I got more flour than way more than normal. I had to get syrup and I, I got two things of syrup because we might be making two breakfasts for dinner, you know, and plus it's like, we're all home. And like, if you want something nice, um, you know, so I got a couple of extra things, but lots of veggies and, and fruit as well. You know, just things that like, you know, people, you know how it is having kids. I had to get, I ended up buying like three things of my kids' favorite peanut butter because they're always sold out. Like probably the last month that I've gone, they don't have it. And so like, it's fine. Like they buy peanut butter, but like, yeah. So I just got that because, you know, and, um, yeah. But it was good. Uh, I think we got a lot of good stuff. I mean, I feel like I got everything. The only thing that they didn't have that I really needed was salt, like just regular table salt. Like I have the, you know, um, the big salt in the shaker thing, but like I needed just like regular salt, but they didn't have that. So I got an extra thing of sugar because like I said, everybody's baking. So it's just like a lot of different things going on that wouldn't normally happen. Um, so that's why, yeah, I did get and popcorn. Like I got some popcorn that's cheap. My kids like, um, they're out of my favorite hummus, so I feel like I'm going to die because of that. But, <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll all survive. You, I mean, we will. We'll survive. 
And then, um, yeah, so pretzels, um, everybody likes. And so, so that's not too bad. And then I always get like almond milk and let's see, spinach and all like all the stuff to make smoothies, but that always takes a lot of ingredients too. So, you know, for all the, so I can get all of those kind of things into my children uh, and they don't taste it. <laughs> all the vegetables and the uh, chia seeds and a lot of things I just throw in there. So it's like, they're, they're always like, they can make their own smoothies, but yeah, I don't really want them to because I know they're not going to put all that stuff in there. So, so the other thing that I do um, sometimes coming to Pack and Save, and I pretty much exclusively shop at Pack and Save because I have a huge family and it's, the others are just not affordable. So they give you these... Um, let me show you like six cents off a liter after you spend a certain amount. So then just head right over here, get some gas, petrol, sorry. And you know, you save some money on that as well. So my total was actually $3.22 um, and $48 was GST. So really the amount of food I got was $3.22. Um, and you know, I got rolls and stuff, a big one. This is everybody's home and I know that they're going to eat it. I got some rice. Like I'm all out of everything. I was kind of out of everything. I didn't get too much. Um, yeah. And I just needed some, you know, like they didn't have any cucumbers. They only had that snack pack. Um, but yeah. And then I got some ice cream cause we have been completely out of ice cream forever. And so normally I have that on hand, but just haven't had it. So I just really needed everything really. So that was our grocery haul today. I don't know about you, but I have been putting off creating my website until I found my solution with Squarespace. You guys are going to love this product. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from. You just pick your template and then you go in and just add the details of your business. And literally within one day, I was able to get my website up and running. Another feature that I love on Squarespace is that they have this social sharing where my community can just go right out into my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, which is where most of my uh, content exists. And so it's really nice that I can connect directly from Squarespace. Other features that Squarespace offers that are really great is their, the fact that you can collect donations, you can do email campaigns from it. It's just overall really great. I personally also love the analytics. I always like to know what's going on behind the scenes, who's really um, reaching me on my webpage, and that's just such a nice feature as well. I highly recommend that you check out Squarespace. Take some time today to go to squarespace.com and check out your free trial. And then when you're ready to purchase your website or your domain, you get 10% off with the link below. All right, let's head over and get some petrol. It's a real far drive. And we've made it. There it is. <laughs> Basically parked right by it. So yeah, if you use your receipt, you get six cents off a liter at Pack and Save. Okay, so my discounted cost per liter is $216.7 uh, per liter, a total cost of $106.46 uh, for my seven passenger Honda Odyssey. Okay, so let's talk about all that I got. So we got two things of ice cream, not expensive ice cream, just the vanilla, and we have orange chocolate chip, so good. Obviously coffee, I'm not trying to not survive this, right? Um, some frozen, so our treats are some packets of M&Ms and a block of Whitakers, so that's fun, and I got this strings for my 10 year old. So we got some flour, we've got some maple syrup because we're completely out. We've got some buns. We got some, this is all the alcohol for probably a couple weeks. And I was out of vegetable oil, a couple breads because we don't have any. We're having nachos this week, lots of meat because we're completely out. So we will have, let's see, spaghetti, nachos, beef stew, uh, butter chicken, and can't remember what the last one. And then this is some potatoes and some veggies and fruit, bananas, my kids' favorite peanut butter, some cream, and yeah, some cereal. So I feel like I got a lot, um, but this is it. 
This was my girl. Oh, and then two things of these really cool. I have these. Have you tried these? These like are really good. They're little thin cookies. So that's another treat as well. Some feta cheese, some hummus, not my favorite kind, but that's what we have. Some pretzels, some frozen. So yeah, and we got some, some of these chicken. I don't normally get those, but since they had them and we might do a fun chicken and waffles just because we're all together. Um, yeah, so this is the grocery haul. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's video and thank you for Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Click the link below if you wanna get 10% off a website or a domain. And I just hope you enjoyed my grocery haul. If you guys have any feedback on like tips on getting food cheaper or things that you do with your family, comment below. I would love to hear them. And don't forget to check out my new American recipe book. It's only $8, link is below. See you next week.